Hello you multi friends of marvellous magnificence and thank you to John Collinson for that malt mention. This is the Bothy, somewhere in the Irish Sea and I am your host for the malt moments. I'm Ralphie. I drink whiskey. I drink a lot of whiskey but I do keep it quality, not quantity, so that I'm rarely drunk. It's important. The quality of our experience in life is directly influenced by the quality of what we connect with, the quality of what we introduce into our lives, and our awareness of that. The quality of the things we buy, the quality of the company we keep, and the quality of the engagement in our hobby hobbies and interests that we have. And one of mine's whiskey. And one of my perpetual challenges, which is one of your challenge is, challenges, is what do we buy next? You see, when we start out in whiskey, we, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, this is Ralphie Review 954 Extras. I didn't do the extras, you see, so I don't know if I mentioned it. So I'll do that now, just to cover the bases. So, anyway, swiftly moving on. It's a challenge to us all whether we're just starting out in whiskey or whether we've been making the journey for just a few years or just a few decades is what do we actually buy next? And when we start out in the beginning of our journey, it's very tempting to say, well, this is the last bottle of whiskey I bought and I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to buy the bo same bottle of whiskey again and I will enjoy that too. And you're absolutely right. And it gives your, your senses more time to become familiar, acquainted and acclimatised malt mates with a particular expression of a particular brand, whether it be 12-year-old Glenfiddich or 12-year-old Bowmore or 12-year-old Glenfarclas. There is so much to choose from. In fact, the array of choice, not just in Scotch whisky, but in all flavoured matured alcohols from around the world is frankly bewildering, slightly confusing and endlessly growing. So what we need is a formula. So I'm going to share my formula with you for buying your next bottle of whisky and hopefully it'll be useful to you. So here we go. You've bought your first few bottles and you've had your first few years experience and you've perhaps got half a dozen different varieties of whiskey and possibly you find that they're quite different so you've tried the non-peated whiskey, the obvious accessible supermarket high street whiskey just to start somewhere and get your bearings and then you've been gifted something possibly an independent bottling and you poured a glass but you just couldn't get it, it was just weird. So you put the cork back on, you put it back in your shelf because you're going to come back in a few months or a few years time and it'll be just sitting there for you so long as you're looking after it carefully and it'll be ready to go when you are because your palate has more experience. And it's about systematically growing our experience and the diversity of our experience over the years. Because if we stick to the one brand... If we're slavish about it, and if we're lazy about it, we become over familiar with it. And this is something that happens with something like Lagavulin, for example. In the old days, you had the Lagavulin flat fans, and they wouldn't buy anything but Lagavulin. And the same could be said for Glenfiddich, and the same could be said for Glenmorangie, and the same could be said for Macallan. People stuck to their lane. And what would happen is they'd buy a bottle and say, do you know, see my last bottle, it was better. And see the bottle before that, that was better still. And they look at the bottle and they look at the glass and they say, it's not as good as it used to be. But what in fact is happening is their senses are growing over familiar with the repeat experience of a known proprietary brand. And over time, you get the law of diminishing returns. So that bliss point moment with one bottle, which, is, which you're hoping to have repeated with the next bottle, it doesn't quite happen because your, your sense of smell and your sense of taste and importantly, your sense of memory. It remembers through road, rose-tinted spectacles 
It remembers with nostalgia and affection. It remembers with emotions, emotional memory and wisdom. So you pour your new whiskey, your new bottle of whiskey, your new version of it, and you think, mm, it doesn't quite taste quite so good. And then someone suggests to you, well, you like that big peated whiskey, so why don't you try another one like our Beg or Lafroig or Beaumont? And so you get a bottle of that and you think, oh, I'm really enjoying this. Now, what you're really enjoying is the fact that you're tasting something different and it presents a new challenge to your senses, your senses taste and your senses smell and your, your mind enjoys it. It's like doing Sudoku puzzles. If you did the same puzzle all the time, you'd soon get bored. This is why you need different puzzles and this is why we need different whiskies. So I think that's quite a fair analogy to make. So you, you discover that there's a, a special edition of your favourite whisky, which happens to be Lagavulin, for example, a distiller's edition. So you buy a bottle of that and it's heavily shedded and you, you find, oh, the senses tell you I'm really enjoying that. There's something familiar and there's something unfamiliar about that bottle. So there again, you've gone to another brand, you've experienced it, then you've gone back to the brand you know in a slightly different version and you're enjoying that. So it reinforces your loyalty and the presence of that brand, which is one very important reason, malt mates, why increasingly Scotch whisky distillers are producing more and more variations, permutations and deliveries of the brands that they produce out their distilleries. So as to keep hold of the loyal customer, whose palate is getting fatigued with the standard delivery of the brand. And then we find that we've been to a whiskey festival. Right? Great thing is a whiskey festival. And you taste a whiskey and you think, mm, I don't like that much. And then you taste a whiskey afterwards and you think, that's amazing. And at this point, Unbeknown to you, your subliminal senses are having an absolute field day tasting a whole load of different whiskies, different ages, different strengths, different cask finishes, different cask maturations, different styles. And the, the mind is very stimulated. And this is why that you can go to a whiskey festival having eaten a full meal beforehand to make sure you're full up. And you've got your bottle of water, so you're cleansing your palate and you're just having tasters. And yet, see at the end of a whiskey festival, when you actually look at the volume of liquor you've consumed, you ask yourself, how come I'm not completely pished? And the reason is because you've been taking it slowly, methodically, You've eaten beforehand, you're drinking water, you're hydrating yourself and your mind is so activated, immersed, excuse the analogy, immersed in a whiskey experience that you don't have time to be pished because the mind needs to remain sober to process all the smells and flavours and the sudden shock of the changes and the sudden shock of the, the information that attaches the, to all these different smells and flavours of all these different brands. And you go home and you start to go online more and you have your circle of whiskey friends and someone tells you, have you tried Springbank? I managed to get a bottle of Springbank and I want to open it as a group of friends. And you say, yes, please, I'll have some of that. And then you have your first real direct experience, your first fully tangible experience of an absolute start to finish integrity whiskey. And if you're lucky, it'll be the 12 year old cask strength version. And sure, I know, I'm fully aware that standards of Springbank vary according to the type of cask that they are using for maturation. And if Springbank had 100% access 100% of the time to 100% of the best casks in the world, it would be even better than it is. But they don't. 
They've got to work with what they've got, but my goodness, they do a good job. They malt their own barley. That's good. Give, frankly, it gives you more flavour. Because it's a, a non-industrial process. It's a softer process. They, they, they kiln their own barley, so they dry it out slowly. Not quickly. Slowly. Then they mill it. And then they put it into a sparging tank. So they get the maximum juice out, but not too much. And then they ferment it, and they ferment it slowly in wooden wash bags. And then it goes into a still, one of the first still, it goes into direct fired. Very expensive option these days when you're firing in gas. But they do it. And it brings out the absolute full dynamic of a whiskey. And see once you've tasted a bottle of Springbank. You start to use it as the judge, the measuring stick by which you judge all other whiskies. And then you'll go back to where you started. Say a bottle of 12, 10, 12, 12 year old Glenfiddich. And you'll be disappointed. You shouldn't be, but you will be because it's so much simpler. Your palate is moved on. Your palate is suffering from being spoiled. And we're, we're still in the age where a lot of seriously good whiskies are still affordable, particularly in the UK. Particularly in the UK. Not so much Australia and Canada, but that's politics. Nothing but politics. Industrial politics. So, we start to spread the net a little bit. We're guided by others. Many whiskies we don't like. Some whiskies we do like. And then we discover why we don't like whiskies we don't like. And why we do like whiskies we do like. And then we are well and truly into the flavour chase. And it is the flavour chase that directs what we buy next. The more knowledge we have, the easier it becomes. And it's the journey. It's not just the whisky. It's the challenge that we set ourselves in educating our palates, which takes time, it takes investment, it takes cash. And we buy into this because we are on simply the most remarkable journey that is possible to have with the sheer diversity of high-end alcoholic flavours. And alcohol is the ultimate vehicle to deliver flavour from a natural ingredient to the human palate. Nothing else comes near it. Alcohol is simply one of the most spectacular alchemaic chemicals. A naturally occurring chemical. It's ethanol. It's alcohol. And it is the messenger that messages the experience of the identity of a single malt distillery from the field through the distillery into the bottling and out to the shop and then to us. It's truly remarkable. And this is what makes our next whiskey purchase so exciting because inevitably we're really going to miss the target and buy a duffer. But we learn so much from that. We're always learning. And this gives us this additional quality of engagement, which so few products out there can even deliver. They're all approximations. They're all shorthands. Even many designer luxury goods are. The only thing that comes near is for a highly experienced engineer to buy a Swiss watch and dismantle it and put it under a magnifying glass. And this is why they aspire, they, they move swiftly move on from Rolex to Philippe Patac. This is the reason. It's the reason why a Hermes, a he Hermes handbag or any other accessory is so, so desirable because when you actually fully scrutinise and analyse the construction and fabrication, you see that it is genuinely hand done 
with intelligence and considerable skill, which is missing from so much of modern consumable products. But mock mates, you'll find it in whiskey. You don't follow the adverts, you don't follow the trends, you don't follow the price tags. You will find the most amazing, amazing experiences are affordable and accessible to you. The skill is the hunt. What's your next whiskey you're going to buy? What's it going to be? I don't know. You might know, but you might not know. But you're using your experience and you're sniffing it out. And when you find it and when you work, when it works for you, when you are rewarded, it is truly an amazing and wonderful thing. So it is.